I want to thank you once again for joining us here at Plowman's Backyard. Today we are just out spending some time outdoors and we thought, you know what, now's a great time to kind of show you what we do with our aggressive roosters. So we have three roosters. We did have six. We got rid of three of them. Um, we have the father still here and two of our babies from the spring we still have. Um, one is, you know, the lowest on the totem pole, so he's not aggressive at all. We have the father, which is not aggressive really at all. He protects his, his hens, but he's not aggressive with us. The, the middle one is one of our firstborns from the spring, and he is a bit aggressive. So he has his group of ladies, his father has his group of ladies, and then our third one that's not very aggressive, very docile, he didn't have any. Anyways, this rooster, you know, he kind of tries to attack us sometimes. He's not overly aggressive. He'll run away if we come to him, where some roosters I've had encounters with, they actually try to chase you. But if you turn your back on him, he, he will try to attack at some points. So my husband's just going to kind of show you, once he does actually catch him, what he does to kind of tame our roosters. And we had to do this with our father, um, Jimmy the rooster, our buff Orpington. We've had to do it a few times. Um, Jason has done it, I've done it, and our daughter has done it as well to him. And he's kind of understood that we are the alphas in this family. Now, um, he is, Jason is going to show you just our kind of technique and what it basically is, is you need to catch it and you need to pin him down until he calms down. Then you pick him up and you want to carry him around and pet him. And the purpose for this is to let him know that you are dominant, to also make him realize and kind of humiliate him actually it's kind of sad but you humiliate him in front of his hens and the other roosters and it just makes him more humble and part of carrying him around helps him to realize that most of the time when a rooster is mating with a hen he pins her down and gets on her so that's kind of the technique that we're using here we catch him we just kind of pin him down use your two fingers kind of back of his neck pin him down and you want him to be calm you want to pet him you want to love him because this is not trying to hurt the rooster it's trying to have the rooster around so that we can live simultaneously and happy with him so this in no way it doesn't hurt the rooster at all but I just wanted to show you this tip because some people may not know what to do or how to do it I do advise you to wear gloves we always do wear gloves but it does work and it has worked for us so um, take a look at this little short video I hope you enjoy it and before you watch don't forget to subscribe You gotta carry him around like you own him. That's right. You have to keep, probably had to keep doing this, huh? That's what you're supposed to do, yeah. I got this. Alma Alpha. That's right. What are you doing, honey? 
Just pin him down because he got all feisty again. Dougie, no. And then I'll hold on to him for a bit longer until he knows that I'm okay, I'm not trying to eat him. I'm not I'm the alpha compared to him. And then once he calms down, then I'll put him down. 